It's in the front. So I have this rack protecting the container. And I have all these poles that's intertwined here, in and out to keep it. Because this piece right here was broken off, not by me. So either raccoons or cat took it off, sleep trying to get in here. So I ended up protecting that side there. So now the only thing I'm gonna do with this is take this out and take this other stake out down here. And lift it up and it should last. There you go. Oops, I spoke too soon. Okay, so give me a chance to do some work in here. Just this way. I'm gonna use one stake. It stays up, it comes down. I'm gonna use one stake to keep it in place. Right here. Okay, that should make it so it doesn't fall on my hands. Now, I need to clean all this out. Shall I get up the weeds? <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. I'm just gonna, um, and I'm just gonna dig this up. Let me get the. Set up still trying to pick these. Let's just dig this up. And get those tomatoes up. Because I don't have a lot of time to be messing around with this. Too much stuff to do. So, nice big container. A lot of nice soil in here, too. So, there. I'm just put a little fertilizer in there to get this thing going. Time release fertilizer. Mix some salt. Garden line. Now the other tomato I just planted, I didn't give them anything. I just remember that. So I'm gonna give them some when I'm finished here. But since I already start this, let me just finish this up. Normally you put, they say you put the, you know, the Epsom salt in the root of the plant, but I'm just putting the whole container. When I try to find them out again later, I can always get some more. Okay, so, so what I got going here, what time it is. I know all this is not going to fit. I'm going to do the best I can to get as much out as possible. See all these right here? These are so small. Maybe one or two in there. And I can separate, put in another container. This is not bad. Okay. Like I said, this, I'm just doing the tiny ones and this one, get them out of the way. Okay. So this, some of these are not bad. Some I can need to be taken care of. And if it's too small, I don't want to mess with the root. I just put the whole thing in until they get bigger and I can separate them. Now, I didn't bring a tripod with me, so I'm gonna do what I can for now. Like, you see all this right here? They're so small. There's a whole bunch of small ones in the root right there. So I'm just gonna separate some and then plant them in the, in the, in the like this. Then later on I can separate them when they get bigger. Either way, some of them still too small. Okay, this guy right here. It's a lot of small ones. So, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna bury this in here for now. In a month, I can 
take it out and separate it now there's one or two big ones in there but i don't know if i can separate like this one big one in here so i'm gonna leave it there okay all these guys i'm gonna plant this has some big ones on it a lot of small ones so I'm trying not to do too much damage separate the big ones from the small ones but like I said if I can't separate them because the two then I just wait these guys okay I put this in, plant these in one container by themselves this guy right here nice big ones get it to my sister-in-law I'm gonna give it this whole thing so she can have fun with that. But I think all these are the same. Well, no, they're not the same tomato. Uh, they might be the same tomato. They all got the same. This one paler than this one. It's because it's older. I'm gonna give her these. And then I'm gonna look in the other batch and get another set from her for her. So this goes in here. I'm gonna drop some when I finish. I'm gonna drop some soil on it just to keep it until I get back, until it gets there. Where's the other, other tomatoes here? Some big ones on there, some small ones. I have containers for the big ones. But see, a bunch of small ones on this. And I'm gonna try to separate the big guy. So I need to give her something from this batch too. So I'm gonna separate the small ones. No. Okay, I'm gonna give her this right here. I think this is the one I just did. So I'm gonna go to this side back here. Oops, <laughs> I wasn't pointing at this. Yeah, I just did, did this side. So I'm going to do this side. That's where I got these from. And I'm going to give her these. These are small. I'm trying to give her big plants. Not, you know, little plants that she has to baby. Try to take care of. You know, I'm going to give her all of those. I'm going to give her all of these. There's some little babies in there too, but. So this is what's going to her. It's about 10 little plants and peppers. Okay, so. Did I just knock a pepper off of it? Yes, I did. I'm not trying to throw away no pepper, no tomato. So this is this right here. a little soil on top of it. There you go. So I got soil, tomato, splash a little bit of water in here. I don't think it's some of that. Okay, put a little water in there and we're done. So this I put on the side for her. Now let's get to these tomatoes. I start work. I already put this in a bunch. Hope I don't regret this. So I start working my way from over here, over here. Like I said, I'm just trying to get them. Set up, you know, until um they get bigger, then I can transplant them. And I might even leave some in here in this container. 
I'm gonna leave some of this container. And I just have to figure out how I am going to protect this container. This is, too, you know, I have this here, but I don't like to leave them something firm to climb on because they have something firm to climb on. As I leave it semi shaky. Anyway, I'm getting off a topic here. Let's just get this stuff done. It's getting late. And I still haven't accomplished half of what I want to do today. Plus, I want to plant the potatoes out. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the potatoes done. I want to get them in the soil because I don't want nothing to happen to them. Trying to get this tomato separated. There's a nice one and a small one. So I'm taking the big ones out and go ahead and transplant them into something. So at least we have some tomato already have a head start on top of these. not as big as it should be but a couple weeks tender love and care they should be great I'm dropping all of this in this right here I guess I'm not gonna try to separate all these small tomatoes I'm just gonna drop them now this one I'm gonna plant out in something but I'm just gonna drop these in here That's why I don't want to tangle stuff. Drop these in here. And like I said, some of these will stay in this container. Some will not. I just have to separate them when time come to for space. The root ball from them, or the root. Well, that has seeds in there too. Never know. Just I know these are random tomatoes. I don't know who is who anymore. <laughs> I'll find out when they produce tomatoes. Then yeah, we know who was who, and who was who. But like I said, she only had two labels and I couldn't read only could only read one, it's a plummy. So I'll put this guy in here. And put this guy in here since um like I said I'm gonna separate them anyway. And some will stay and some will go. If anybody gonna stay more likely the single the ones that planted single, they're the one who have the option to stay in here. And the ones that's planted, there's a lot of them. They will have the option to go in another container somewhere. And like I said, the goal of this is just to get them bigger. And I don't have containers to put all these individually and try to get them grow bigger. So, here are my, the neighbors up there. Okay, so that's it. Oh, this big guy didn't have a home. Yes, you do now. Okay. All the tomatoes that my mom sent out. I hope. I sure hope this is it. <laughs> I hope this is all the tomatoes. And it's going to be a nice evening. So I'm going to hold some, give them a little bit of water. And... Cover them up. You know, last time I messed with the hose, I end up hosing my face, myself in my face. I know you don't want to water tomatoes from the top, but <clears throat> no, you don't want to water tomatoes from the top. But I don't have a choice right now because they're so small. Okay. So 
this is these guys right here. Give them a chance to recover and do their thing. I should mulch them, but I don't have time to mulch them. Plus, if I mulch them, it's like I'm leaving them all of them in here. And I'm not. So for now, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, take you out the way. Can I use this lid still on here for now? Yes, I can. Great, look at this. Perfect. I can deal with this later. Only one is tall enough. I should take that out. Only one is tall enough to mess with the container. Show you a better view. Oops, this way, yeah. See, only this one is tall enough to mess with this. The rest, give them time to grow up in there. So we're good with that. Now I have four right here. And I'm going to put, I think I'm going to take the cage out of this. I have my winter sewing, I haven't touched yet. Yeah, I'm gonna take the cage and put um, stakes in these. Stake this one instead. So I can put four in here. And also, you know, with all these in here, you're the bike. Yeah. With four in here, I can. Put stake them. And even down the road, I can separate them. This thing doesn't measure itself out, so I like that. Anyway, I don't have time to sit and worry about if they're measuring themselves out or not. I was gonna get rid of this container. I put another one over here, but as you can see, it's gonna work for this year. It's gonna have to work for this year. Putting four in here. And like I said, I can always take them out later. Right now. Time is not on my side. Four. I should took the leaves off before I started doing this but I did not so anyway down here have some salt a little bit more and go deep hole to your neck have some salt Deep hole. Deep hole. Epsom salt and Epsom salt. Collapse everybody and we're done. Now these are good. And I don't need to put the big, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna leave in here as yet. So, I'll stick some steaks in there and give at least two his own steaks. Now, and the rest is just protection sticks. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> dude, girl. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just messed that up. But anyway, this should be good. And like I said, my main thing is to keep the squirrels out. And that's this for now. Next one, this is gonna be cucumbers. Definitely cucumbers. 
So I can run in this. I'm not messing with this right now. Although I need to do some cucumber seed this week. <sighs> More tomatoes. She has two for this is six. I spread them out. Gonna be cucumber, tomato. Not sure what's gonna be here yet. Eggplant, tomato. So we're gonna do to tomato. Actually, you know what? Let's do some tomato in this one. Tomato over here. I think way over here is another container I worked on. So it'll be ready. And these have the sticks ready to go. I already worked on this. All I have to do now is put fertilizers and go. on these yesterday yeah we're gonna um that's gonna be it last my last recording right now because there's too much noise going on out here so i just plant and i show them to you you see how i did my tomato one this is gonna be tomato number two so i'll show you when i'm finished because too much noise out here right now